What is going on guys, Jay here, and every single day I get tons and tons and tons of messages from people asking me how they can make their computer faster but without breaking the bank. I see messages from people saying they've got great motherboards, great processors, lots of RAM, and a great GPU, and they don't know what to do to just get that last bit of performance out of their computer. And I think the answer to that is gonna be, got an SSD, bro? Now SSDs are one of those things that I think a lot of people have not really caught on to just how much bang for buck there is and how much you're gonna really speed up your system by considering going with a solid state drive. Now solid state drives have been dropping dramatically in price over the last 12 months. In fact, a couple of years ago, most people would not have been able to afford even a small SSD around 128 gigabytes. Now today we're gonna be taking a look at the Plextor M6S. This is a 256 gigabyte variant. It is available in 128, 256, and 512. Plex Store, you need to make a one terabyte version. Seriously, everything's getting so cheap, there's no reason not to have one terabyte. Get on that, please. Now this does feature the true speed sustained high performance technology, which is basically their, their, that's what they're calling their firmware. And we'll go ahead and talk about the specs real quick. Now the 256 gigabyte version has a read speed of up to 520 megabytes in sequential read, a 420, a 400 and twiggle, 400 and twiggle byte. That's a, that's a new, that's actually a new terabyte. It's a twiggle byte. A 420 megabyte sequential write speed. And it's got up to 90,000 random read speed or IOPS of 4KB. That is pretty fast for a SATA drive. Now this does get the best performance out of a SATA 3, six gigabit per second port, but it is also compatible with three gigabit per second and 1.5 gigabit per second. But I definitely recommend hooking this thing up to a six gigabit per second on an Intel controller. In fact, we'll get a little bit more to that a little bit later. Now this drive does feature a nice, really attractive aluminum or aluminum, aluminum if you're over across the pond. Uh, case here, it is a 200 200. It's a 200 inch form factor, guys. Jeez, I am just not able to talk very gooder today. Now it is a two and a half inch form factor, just like pretty much all SATA SSDs that are out there. And it does have a very stylish aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. I can't even say aluminum anymore properly. So many people from across the pond are like, it's aluminum, it is not aluminum. I know you Americans say aluminum. Yeah, it is an aluminum shell on here, very attractive. It's Most of the time it's not gonna show, but at least you guys know you have some bling in there. And it does have, uh, of course, your SATA power and your SATA uh, 3 connector right there. Now there's not a whole lot to say about the looks of an SSD, but I know what you guys wanna know, and you wanna know how well this thing performs. When I first hooked it up to my system behind me here in one of my hot swap drives, I was having some very sporadic performance. In fact, the first bit of performance that I had was a, about 250 megabyte by 250 megabyte read-write speed in sequential, which was quite a bit lower than advertised. And I immediately took a look at my connections and of course the hot swap drive I plugged it into was a three gigabit per second port. Make sure you have it in a six gigabit per second port guys. Most motherboards today have at least one or two or in my case six. So I moved it over to a six gigabit per second port and I was only getting speeds of 386 sequential read by 276 megabyte sequential write. And that was still much lower than advertised. And I was scratching my head going, what the heck is going on? So I looked up into, I looked up the uh, BIOS and the manual of my Z77 OC formula, which is right there behind me and found out that I was actually running it on the Marvel controller and it's recommended to run these guys on the Intel Z77 or newer chipset controller. And once I did that, our speeds went through the roof. 532 megabyte sequential read by 460 megabyte sequential write. Now when it comes to the advertised speeds, they advertise that the 256 megabyte model or the 256 a uh, gigabyte model, what is wrong with me here? That's a super small SSD. 256 gigabyte model is capable of a 520 megabyte per second read by a 420 megabyte sequential write. So we actually got faster than advertised speeds. Of course, this was not the operating system drive. It was just sitting there waiting to be reading, reading and writing and doing all that kind of stuff. So you guys can see 
it is extremely beneficial. Now I wanted to go ahead and see how this thing writes in a multimedia environment, so I fired up DxTory to see how this thing handled DxTory's live streaming writing capability. It actually has a built-in benchmark where it will test how fast it can write to the drive in a gaming situation where it's encoding and writing directly to the drive. And we got a 442 megabyte per second multimedia write speed. So guys, we are definitely getting advertised speeds here with this PlexTor M6S. Now, if you guys want to really speed up your system and you want to do it very cost effective and you are not using an SSD, I highly, highly recommend the PlexTor M6S. The price comes in very, very competitive. The 256 gigabyte model might be a little bit small for some people, especially when games like Titanfall are taking over 50 gigabytes of space, Battlefield 4 taking well over 30 gigabytes of space. Yeah, I do recommend getting a 512 megabyte if you can afford it. But at the very least, getting yourself a 128 or a 256, putting your operating system on there and getting a couple of your favorite games and programs on there, you will be surprised at just how much your processor is being held back by the read-write speed of a standard hard drive. To put things into perspective, when we compared this PlexTor M6S and DX Tori to uh, standard Toshiba 1TB 7200 RPM 32 megabyte cache drive, it was getting just over 110 megabytes per second write speed versus 442 of the SSD. So you can see four times the speed of a standard traditional hard drive. So guys, if you wanna speed up your systems and you are not running an SSD, by far the quickest, easiest, most cost-effective way to do that is to go out and get yourself an SSD. Now it's not gonna actually make your frames per second in games any better, but it is, going to, it is going to dramatically reduce the load times. In fact, on games like Titanfall, I'm usually the first one in there and waiting for everyone else to load. It is just that fast. So guys, go and check out the PlexTor M6X, M6S. Links are down in the description as well as other links that you guys can use to help support the channel, Amazon links, uh, coupon codes for different uh, sponsors. And of course, all of those things are to give you guys discounts when buying. I don't really get any kickbacks from any of those affiliate codes. It's just to save you guys some money, which is what Jay is all about. Making you guys smart prosumers instead of being consumers and just making you guys love your PCs as much as I love mine. Don't forget guys, I do have Project Skunk Works that is still currently in the works and this long weekend with the 4th of July holiday coming up, I'm gonna be working on this bad boy and I hope to get as much of it done as possible. And of course, this Plex Tor drive is going to be making its way in to that bad boy. So as always guys, I hope to get to see you in the next one. Follow on Twitter if you wanna chat with me or hop on Facebook or Google Plus or all of that multimedia stuff. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next one.